Hello and welcome Universe Mode. This is NXT. We are on our way to NXT TakeOver. And of course, the last time we were on this show, we were given the news of what the main event of TakeOver Brooklyn would be. We now know for the NXT Championship, Corin will defend his title against none other than Tyler Bate, surviving Hiroshi Tanahashi and winning the best of three series to get the shot at him. How will that turn out for him at TakeOver? Well, we'll find out then. But here tonight, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, uh, there's just a lot happening, I think is the best way of saying it on this show. We're gonna be kicking things off by hearing, as you see there, from the sheriff of NXT, Stone Cold Steve Austin. He has an announcement that both him and the NXT general manager would like to reveal. And we'll see how that one will go here tonight to kick off the show. Could be very interesting. Last time he had an announcement to make, I'm pretty sure it was about the Women's Elimination Chamber match, which is almost, uh, wrapped up so i wonder how that one will go looking forward to seeing how how we'll do uh with that one and then here tonight on this uh, high octane action episode of nxt we have for our main event the gold standard shelton benjamin being handed one hell of an opportunity no doubt about it as he goes one-on-one -on -one against the nxt champion in corin corin of course now well aware that he's facing tyler bate in brooklyn on august 17th how does he respond to it august 18th from those who shut up how does he respond to it? How does he look to it? How will he overcome Tyler Bate? Well, those are all questions that Corin may keep in his mind. Or he may run about it to try and brag. We'll find out. All of that and more here to come tonight. But let's go from the top. Let's start things off by hearing from the Sheriff of NXT. All right. And here he is coming towards the ring. I wonder what is on the mind of Stone Cold Steve Austin. What news has he got to reveal to us here tonight? He doesn't come out to just say... Hi, welcome to the show, and then leaves. Whenever Stone Cold is around, there's news to be given out. There is something that we need to know, and uh, I wonder what that will be. About to find out, don't we? Here we go. Well, uh, if he takes in his reaction from the Hammerstein Ballroom crowd, we just have to guess. I, I, uh, from the looks of things, just you know, just tap your wrist and just see how long you have to wait until it eventually all uh, you know happens. Oh my God. Well, I wonder what uh, I wonder what he'll be doing. I wonder what Stone Coast Steve Austin does have to say. We will find out in just a matter of moments. He is really milking it here. To be fair, he does this every week on NXT, but he's uh, certainly milking in the reaction. Maybe happy with it. Who knows? Let him have his moment, I guess, before he starts delivering the news. And the first bit of news goes towards Tyler Bate, congratulating him for his victory on uh, Hiroshi Tanahashi for the opportunity at Corin. At NXT TakeOver Brooklyn, which is uh, Stone Cold has revealed right there, will be live streamed on August 18th. Uh, which um, is a pretty big thing for the for the uh, NXT brand. I mean, the last time was King of the Ring, and there Austin says Austin says that can't wait to bring you NXT TakeOver Brooklyn in that fashion. But there is more news to talk about. Let's get right into it. And here is some of that news here tonight. Jazzy Gabbard is in action in uh, a match later on tonight. Stone Cold Steve Austin has not named the opponent for her yet. However, if Jazzy Gabbard loses, well then, it becomes the Elimination Chamber qualifying match. If Gabbard loses, her opponent is in to the Elimination Chamber and will take up that final spot. Pretty interesting news there from Stone Cold, but it doesn't seem as if he is done there. Continuing on now, talk about the NXT Global Championship picture after seeing what Pete Dunne did over these last few weeks and how he got... Uh, and now he got, it, um, I guess, a bit of revenge back on him. Uh, last time out in NXT, Stone Cold Steve Austin has decided that at NXT TakeOver Brooklyn, it will be a fatal four-way match for the Global Championship between Pete Dunne, Tomohiro Ishii, Matt Riddle, and Leo Rush. Dunne brought that one upon himself. And that is about all that Stone Cold Steve Austin has to say. He... Uh, he uh, Immensely looks forward to tonight's card of NXT. He has let everyone know what is going on here tonight. He is incredibly um, looking forward to take over Brooklyn, which, as he repeats once again, will be live streamed. He is very much excited for that main event. But as for tonight, let's just get on with the action at hand. And that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so. And there we have it. Stone Cold's news for the evening given out. The last Elimination Chamber qualifier could potentially be tonight when Jazzy Gabbard faces her unknown opponent. Pete Dunn will be defending the title in a fatal four-way match against Ishii, Riddle, and Rush. 
and TakeOver Brooklyn itself will be live streamed on the uh, date that is August 18th. Pretty interesting news to kick us off here on NXT. And here we go to kickstart this evening of NXT's action and well, 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 they have started off pretty interesting as well. Let's be real, I mean, we talked about the uh, Fatal 4-Way match that is happening at that event. Well, the opening match of this evening certainly has some implications on that because it is Matt Riddle against Tomohiro Ishii here tonight. Riddle, who of course uh, was involved in an attack along with Leo Rush a few weeks ago on NXT. Uh, they were in the middle of an intense one-on-one -on -one matchup but Pete Dunne came out and laid them both out in the middle of the ring, bringing the match to an end. Matt Riddle now has an opportunity for himself to become the NXT Global Champion a TakeOver Brooklyn. That is one hell of a chance awaiting him, there is no doubt about it. Can he make the most of it though? We will find out. I think he can. Uh, I think Riddle has the chance, but tonight here he's, whoa, he's gonna have to be ready. He's gonna have to be alert to go up against the Stone Pitbull. He's gonna have to have eyes, well, I wouldn't say eyes in the back of his head as much as he's gonna need to be alert at all times and have, uh, and just have that ability to be able to stop this madman from uh, tormenting over him and going on for another win here on NXT. This is truly going to be uh, maybe a brains over brawn situation. We'll see how Matt Riddle can cope with it as Ishii heads towards the ring here for this one. Ishii, of course, got himself into this fatal four-way last time out on NXT when he defeated Pete Dunne in a very competitive matchup, but one that also it seemed that uh, Pete Dunne was outmatched in by Tomohiro Ishii. And will the uh, same fate fall away of Matt Riddle? Will he be outmatched by Ishii again, who's been on a roll since arriving here in NXT? Or does Matt Riddle have that ability within him to chalk up a big win? His first big win in a very long time. And defeat Ishii here tonight. We will find out. Bell rings and here we go. Riddle, the taller of the two. Ishii, the heavier of the two though. And that might be where it's more important. We'll see if Matt Riddle can try and find a way to control the uh, match with his um, with his body, you know, with the, the, his MMA background, or if it is going to be all uh, Ishii just overpowering Matt Riddle. Both men backing each other up into the subsequent corners there. And both giving us a clean break as well. Nice to see there. And Matt Riddle now going to go right into it. There's a hard knee and Riddle coming out with the kicks and the strikes spinning kick there Ishii doesn't go down launches ahead but a Matt, a, a, a Matt Riddle this early on and now here goes the stone pitbull taking control knee down in the chest there a Matt Riddle let's see what will happen here now how can Ishii take control how will Leo Rush and Pete Dunne looking in the back you know at this one what do they see at, at this moment in time how do they read Ishii and Riddle? How do they read what they're pulling off in this matchup? Ishii more so than Riddle right now as he's taking the early lead in this one. Irish whip off the rope comes Matt Riddle. Counters the elbow though and in with a drop kick. No, Ishii able to counter it. Riddle able to counter him back. Ducks under him there and now the kicks to the legs starting to line up there. Nicely done from Matt Riddle. Very nicely done indeed, and now Riddle may have a chance here to take control in the match. What a spine buster there from Riddle. Able to lift up the much heavier Ishii. Plant him down into the mat there with it. Looking good for Matt Riddle right now. There's a drop kick. Ishii having to retort to rolling outside to the apron there. And the King of Pro Mission certainly feeling uh, quite confident about his luck here in this matchup. How is Ishii now on the apron going to bring him in with one hell of a suplex? Ishii though not interested in just uh, being the one who is getting planted with offense. Ishii now power bomb to Riddle. Oh good God. And he hangs on to it. He hangs on to it as well. This is a rough ride. From Matt Riddle, a trio of power bombs hit on him, but Matt Riddle able to kick out at the count of one there and still survive in this one. What a truly competitive matchup this one is between these two. This is turning into, has to be said, has him here, half and half suplex there, Ishii. 
Lucky his neck didn't collide into the mat, but not so lucky that his face got went into it. Suplex there from Matt Riddle now. And here comes the wear down of Riddle. Perhaps thinking that the bro mission could be the way to end things. Imagine making Ishii tap out. That would be something in itself to pull off. And Ishii just too powerful there for uh, Riddle to keep in the hold. Gets himself out of it. And now here we go. Ishii slamming him down into the mat. Off the ropes he goes. And in with the elbow drop into the chest. Ishii snap Miz Riddle down. Puts in a chin lock of his own now. Wrenching on it a little bit. Matt Riddle, though, able to get out of it quicker than what uh, Ishii was from that arm lock. Interesting little bit of a... Uh, interesting little thing to take on. Both there! Oh, big time spinning heel kick. Smashed him right in the face there. And now a dragon screw from Riddle as well. Starting to work his way through in this matchup. Starting to come up with the big moves necessary. Ishii, though, with a lariat heavy enough to just... To bring a horse off its feet. That is how Ishii goes. And then here we go now. The brutality of the forearms. The elbow and the lariat from Ishii as well. There's only one thing that could come after it. And it's usually the end of the match. Ishii countered. Went for the brain buster. Matt Riddle able to bring out the reversal. And now Matt Riddle has him in position. Riddle got him. With the bro to sleep. Matt Riddle could beat Ishii, you know, Ishii's arm underneath the bottom rope, and Ishii pulling himself up to his feet here, he's still going on, Matt Riddle though, with a big time Alabama slam, what a contest this has been between these two, to open things up on NXT Cannibal, sent on Mr. from Riddle, Lifts him up now. Ishii in trouble. And no, sorry, not Ishii. Riddle in trouble. Onto the turnbuckle. And now a running power slam right after it. Tomohiro Ishii fire it, firing himself up here. Slapping Riddle in the face as well. Here he goes. Shoulder tackle. Oh, what a counter from Riddle. Tilt the wheel sidewalk slam. Wow, that was... Uh, what a back and forth bit of action that one was there, but it ends with Matt Riddle able to slow things down temporarily from behind now. Oh, a ripcord knee right in the face of Ishii. Will that have been enough to finish things off? There's the cover on Ishii, able to kick out at two. Now does Matt Riddle have it in him? to try and end this one. He's going to go for the submission victory over Ishii of all things. Bro, mission applied. It is sitched in here. He has it locked in deep on Ishii. Ishii's not someone to give up, but will he have to give up here on Matt Riddle? Could Matt Riddle beat the man who heading into that fatal four-way could be regarded as the favorite right now? Still locking it in on Ishii here. Will Ishii tap out? Will he give in? No, he won't. Ishii finds a way out of it. What a contest this is turning into. Has him now and into the door, oh, into the ring pole. And then into the mat itself goes uh, Matt Riddle there. Covered now by Ishii. Hoping this is enough and Riddle kicks out right away. Oh, but a hefty kick in the back will bring him back down there. Riddle, though, popping right up to his feet. Here goes Matt Riddle. Big time lariat. And another one. Riddle fired up now. Catches the boot and sweeps it from underneath him. Matt Riddle has that feeling within him. He is right, he is right up and ready to go, but so too is Ishii. Catches him with the forearms there. And here come more. Back elbow. Ishii in with the lariat. No. Riddle countered it. What a reversal from Matt Riddle there. He drags Ishii now into the middle of the ring. Is he thinking pro mission again? Yes, he is. And he's going to lock it in deep here on Ishii, who may have nowhere to go. He escaped it once, but he's not escaping it again. Ishii submits. Matt Riddle beats Tomohiro Ishii to kick things off on NXT. What a contest by both men. What a victory for Matt Riddle heading into NXT TakeOver. Beating one of his fellow challengers and firmly getting himself in the mix that it could be Riddle's time to be NXT, champ NXT Global Champion.
The way he hung in there really showed that that could have been the case. Riddle, however, wow. Put in one hell of a show, and he took so much offense there from Ishii, no doubt about it. Ishii, if he had got that brain buster, could it have been a different story, maybe? We'll never know. Great stuff from Riddle, though. And, well, to be fair, great stuff from Ishii as well, no doubt about it. Let's move on to our next contest, though. And uh, what could be an interesting one? To see how the NXT Tag Team Champions uh, are doing heading into their title match to take over. It is Sanity against El Ogulo. De lucha. All right, well, here we go. This is a big opportunity for these guys. This is a big opportunity for Kalisto and Grand Metalik to get something over the NXT Tag Team Champions heading into Brooklyn. They could potentially add themselves to the match, thus making it a uh, tag team turmoil. Last time one of them happened was at uh, TakeOver San Antonio, I believe. Uh, between uh, American Alpha, DCC, and the now current NXT Tag Team Champions, Insanity. However, that would be one hell of a thing they'd have to accomplish. That would be one hell of a, uh, an upset to make. So I'm not too sure how that one is going to go. Nevertheless, Kalisto and Grand Metalik ready for this one here. Uh, you can see they're amped up here. They're luchering all over the place or something. I don't really know. That, that, actually, that, that actually sounds quite bad, doesn't it? But we know, of course, uh, as of last time at an NXT, that the New Day, Big E and Xavier Woods will face Sanity for the tag team titles at NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. In what could be a very interesting confrontation, which will of course be live streamed uh, on, uh, da, 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 uh, on, uh, you know, da, da, August 18th. There we go. Saturday, August 18th. NXT Takeover Brooklyn will be live streamed. Um, so that'll be a very interesting one, but uh, to look out for. Nevertheless, we are ready to go here in this one, and uh, it's kind of interesting that. Um, Sanity will be facing New Day because when you think about it, in some ways, New Day and Sanity are quite alike. They both have a powerhouse. Uh, the New Day have Big E. Sanity has Killian Dane. And they both got the, uh, you know, I, I would say the smaller one, I guess, in, uh, you know, Xavier Woods and Eric Young. However, Eric Young has that advantage over Xavier Woods in the fact that, whereas Xavier Woods is all about uh, Francesca the trombone and about, uh, you know, all, all the goofy stuff to New Day. Uh, Sanity is focused, uh, Eric Young is focused on leading Sanity where he wants them to go, causing chaos in his vision. And that's what makes him so dangerous. So the question is in that regard, how, how does, uh, how do, they, how do they prepare to overcome something like that, you know? How do they get ready? How does New Day get ready to overcome something like Sanity when they are known to be so dangerous, so out of the blue with their offense, so conniving, I guess would be the best way of saying it. But once you get in the ring with them, how outright dangerous they can be as well. They are the NXT Tag Team Champions for a reason. Two-time NXT Tag Team Champions now, hoping that uh, this time out of TakeOver will be better than the last time out when they lost it to Tyler Bate and Hiroshi Tanahashi. Now, however, they look to prepare for the new day. They look to prepare for that matchup. Will they get what they want, though? Will they be leaving Brooklyn with the titles still around their waist? That is something we will have to find out. As for tonight, though, they are ready for this matchup. Kalisto going to start things off against Killian Dane. Not the start you'd want if you were on El Ogula de Lucha. But it's a start they are going to get. Good counter there from Kalisto in the early goings. Able to stay up on his feet here, though, is uh, Killian Dane. Well, just Kalisto whiffing on the drop kick there. Big boot in the back of the head. No remorse from Killian Dane on that one. And here he goes now. The big man bringing out the power. Power bomb. Elbow drop after it. Oh. Think of all that weight coming down on you. In the ring we go, now tag is made. What are we gonna see here from Dane and uh, Eric Young? Oh, just launching him right into that big boot. Kalisto not getting a healthy start here in this one at all. Brought in now, neck breaker incoming and he nails him with it. The leader of Sanity in this one and wants to make sure that not only New Day, but everyone in the NXT Tag Team Division has their eyes on what he's doing because at any point, this could be them 
on the opposite side of the ring. And this is the receipt that they're in for. Reverse Hurricanrana there from Kalisto. Finally, he gets a move in in this matchup. And the tables could turn for El Ogulo de Lucha. See how that one goes. Tag made. Grand Metalik in here off the tag. How will he look to go here? Nicely done there. Double arm drag and kick in the chest and the back. Metalik goes for the moonsault and misses it. Eric Young could almost tell that one was incoming. And that was how he was able to move out of the way. Slamming him down into the mat now. Into the turn. Buckley goes as well. Tag made here. Killian Dane in off the tag. And a hefty punch right in the gut for Metalik to endure. And a big time wasteland as well. There's going to be followed up by another elbow drop. Killian Dane so dangerous in this one. The beast from Belfast just all over his opponent in this one. Death Valley driver to Metalik. Kalisto trying to will Metalik into making the tag, but it's just not happening. Killian Dane is going as he pleases. What a counter from Grand Metalik. Oh my goodness. Slammed him there. And Metalik now feeling some kind of feeling some kind of boost within him. Metalik double axe handle. Couldn't fly that far. And couldn't get what he wanted on uh, Killian Dane as a result of it. Another tag made here between Sanity. What are they going to do here? Up in a power bomb. Down with an elbow from the tag team champions to try and end things here potentially. Count in. There's one. And Kalisto able to make the save at two. I think also Grand Metalik was on his way to kicking out of it anyway. It's all breaking down in this matchup right now. Harakarana there. And Killian Dane having to roll out of the ring, leaving Eric Young on his own right now. Kalisto still up on his feet on the other side of the turn, on the other side of the ring. Nice Harakarana from Metalik. Has he got something else in store? No, he has it. Eric Young able to bring out the counter there in the turnbuckle now. Can only assume something sick is going through the eye, going through the mind of the leader of Sanity. And there it is. Dragon Sleeper holding him up there. Toying with him now and sarcastically almost joking that he can't get up to his feet. But he makes the target to Kalisto, who misses with that drop kick. Not to show what Kalisto was hoping for there, but he absolutely whiffed on it. Eric Young has him up. Death Valley driver and he connects with it. The end could be on its way. Tag is made. Killian Dane in now. Off the tag. And Killian Dane will splash down on Kalisto. Oh, that is not an impact that anyone wants to have. Certainly not Kalisto as this one is close. No, this one is over. Here we go. He has him in. Ulster Plantation, into the cover he goes. Eric Young in to stave off Metalik, but it doesn't matter. Sanity are your winners. And that is what it means to be the, to be the tag team champions. That is what it means to hold those belts. That is what Sanity is all about. Chaos, destruction, and controlling a match in their way. Young and Dane, your winners in this one. The New Day are going to have to keep their eyes open for it. Because unless they can do something, unless they can find something within them, I truthfully believe that title is staying around the waist of sanity. Anyway, let's move on to our next contest of the evening. We heard about it earlier on in the night. Jazzy Garrett's match here. If she loses, her opponent is in to the Elimination Chamber match at TakeOver Brooklyn. But who is her opponent? We'll find out up next. And another interesting thing that I've just heard is that Gabbard is heading out on her own. No uh, no other members of Trifecta coming with her, which is quite interesting. Jazzy Gabbard making her way out with that NXT Women's Championship on her shoulder, the belt that she won to take over Chicago. So it's a, an interesting thing to think about for uh, Jazzy Gabbard is that um, she could lose her title in NXT TakeOver in that Elimination Chamber to a fellow member of Trifecta. Let's be real right now, as it currently stands, even though Trifecta are our allies, they're also Jazzy Gabbard's opponents A TakeOver. Santana Garrett and uh, Tessa Blanchard having added themselves into that chamber match with the tag team victory over the iconic duo. We already know, of course, Kyrie Sane, the former NXT Women's Champion, and Charlotte is in it. But who will be that final addition to the NXT Women's Championship match? 
We will find out because it could be this woman here tonight. All she has to do is beat Jazzy Gabbard. Yep, I'm well aware that is not an easy thing to do at all. But let's see if she can pull it off here tonight. The big question is, of course, who will it be to face Gabbard here tonight? Oh, yes. We're in for one hell of a match right about now. Here comes Tony Storm, ready to give Jazzy Gabbard the contest here. Storm being given the chance to go to that Women's Elimination Chamber matchup. All she has to do here is beat Gabbard, and you know what? Since it's Tony Storm, I can see it actually happening in a way. Jazzy Gabbard may be tough. Jazzy Gabbard may be uber resilient and uber tough, but Tony Storm has been kicking up a scene ever since she arrived here on NXT. And let's see if she can continue to do that here tonight over Jazzy Gabbard. What a win it would be for her if she uh, was able to overcome the champion. If she was to join the other five women now in that Women's Elimination Chamber match. Could it happen though is the big question. Well, we'd have to, uh, we'd have to find out, wouldn't we? And we are about to find out because here goes this matchup here. All right, here we go. Gabbard and Storm opposing one another, locking up here. And Jazzy Gabbard immediately using her power to force Tony Storm back into the turnbuckle there and clocking her in the face for good measure. Jazzy Gabbard trying to get under the skin of Tony Storm early on and look at that right away. Tony Storm slamming Gabbard down into the mat. And Storm is taking no prisoners as this one gets underway here. Going after the arm right now, ripping and tearing at it on Jazzy Gabbard here. Smart. I certainly gotta say that, indeed it is smart. Gabbard though able to evade it, move out of the way, and now she can use her own power here, spin out, back suplex, into the cover after it, kicking out at one though, as Jazzy is a Tony Storm, she won't stay down that early. Irish whip now off the ropes, comes Storm, oh no. This is not where you want to be. Head slamming into the mat over and over again. They can concuss you. Can seriously daze you at the very least. And they can knock you out at the very most. What a counter though. From Storm once again. She is uh, proving to be a tough egg. For Jazzy Gabbard to try and crack you. Nice uh, combo of moves there though. That drop kick from uh, Jazzy Gabbard. Great athleticism. Oh! And then just a uh, big time rough knee in the turnbuckle. As are up here now. Power bomb, spin out power bomb, no less. Cover Storm after it. Storm keeps her hopes of takeover alive by being in the ropes there. Counter there now by Tony Storm once again. How does either woman, how does either woman find the ability within them to keep the other one down? We've seen Storm's versatility since she joined this roster. And we know what. Jazzy Gabbard is capable of. I mean, she has that NXT Women's Championship on his shoulder to prove it. Tony Storm now looking for a leg drop. Oh, Gabbard moved out of the way there. And that could be her advantage. Nope, counter there. Not counter. Stuffed almost by Storm. Slice of the throat there by Tony Storm as well. Perhaps she feels something on her way. Tony Storm. Snap German suplex to the alpha female. And it could be... A big time move to end this one. Tony Storm, strong zero to the NXT Women's Champion. Will this send her to take over? One, wow. I'm not really surprised. I think Storm saw the chance and went for it very early. And I think that could have been her mistake maybe. Going for that move so early has allowed Jazzy Gabbard to not only survive it, but now perhaps you can take control from how much energy it took out of Tony Storm to connect with it. Here goes Gabbard now, sending her to the turn. Buckle! Oh, running shoulder tackle right after it there. What a rough move to come down with. But it's not all that uh, Jazzy Gabbard has in her eyes in the turn. Buckle! Suplexing her into it. Such a rough landing there for Tony Storm to endure. And now the, pun and now the punishment continues on. Gut wrench power bomb there. Jazzy Garrett showing no remorse. Oh no, and Tony Storm might not be seeing Brooklyn. Omega slam from Jazzy Garrett. 
and that could end it with one, two, Tony Storm kicks out as well. Oh. Thought for a second that could have been it, but Tony Storm proving that it most certainly wasn't the end there. She is hanging in there now, and here she goes. Perhaps she can get the offense she wants this time. There's the leg drop, goes off the ropes again, hits another one. Is Jazzy Gabbard in a little bit of trouble here now? Keeping the shoulders pinned down into the cover goes Tony Storm, but can't get more than a one count over the NXT Women's Champion. Gabbard able to move herself out of the way as well. Uh-oh, this could be dangerous back suplex. She gonna do here? Oh my God, the strength there, turning into a power bomb. Cover on Storm, but she gets herself out of it at two. Tony Storm with another reversal there on Jazzy Gabbard. What a lariat brought her off her feet. Tony Storm might be feeling something within her after that one. That was one hell of a lariat to bring the champion down. Storm needs to keep on going here, and again she goes back to the leg drops. In with the second one as well on the champion. Taking herself up to the top rope now. Will she get what she wants here? She's gonna fly. Drop kick to the champ. Gabbard, uh, Gabbard goes down there. Tony Storm is starting to put together big moves. Here we go. Slap Jim and suplex again. Big time drop kick in the face, but does Tony, does Tony Storm see the end in sight maybe? Could Tony Storm be adding herself to the NXT Women's Championship matchup in a matter of moments? She is calling Gabba to her feet. The NXT Women's Champion is in huge trouble. She brings her in again. Tony Storm, strong zero to Jazzy Gabbard, and that could be the end of it all. That could be the move that puts Tony Storm in the Women's Elimination Chamber match at TakeOver Brooklyn. Into the cover, one, two, three. Tony Storm has beaten Gabbard. She adds herself into the match, and there you have it. The, the uh, stage is set for TakeOver. Jazzy Gabbard, Tessa Blanchard, Santana Garrett, Kyrie Sane, Charlotte and Tony Storm. And that last name there may well have the biggest momentum of them all heading into this match because she just beat the NXT Women's Champion heading into TakeOver. How does that fare for the champion's luck of retaining her title inside the Elimination Chamber? We will only find out, but that, whatever way you look at it, is a huge, huge win for Tony Storm. We'll see. We'll see how things will go for her and everyone else inside that chamber match. What a win. That is going to be one hell of a contest. No doubt about it. Anyway, let's move on to our next match. If we've already seen one half of them in action here, the fatal four-way title match at uh, TakeOver. Well, here we see another man in action. It is going to be Leo Rush taking on a former challenger for the Global Championship in No Way Jose. Alright, here we go. Into the next contest of this evening. No Way Jose, of course, as I said, he's already tried his luck at the NXT Global Champion. Pete Dunne came out on the losing end of it all. Being defeated by Dunne at TakeOver uh, Chicago? Yeah. TakeOver Chicago. And now we see here tonight what he can do against uh, a very game Leo Rush who heads into this contest now knowing that he has an opportunity waiting for him to take over along with three other men, or two other men rather, including the, uh, not including the champion, to become the NXT Global Champion. And what better way to try and build momentum uh, other than over the champion than over a former number one contender? No way Jose certainly gave it his all at TakeOver Chicago in that match. It was a, a very intense match between the two men. It had certainly some bad blood heading into it, but Jose just didn't have the ability in the end to be able to uh, overcome what Pete Dunne could do in that match. It was just too much for uh, No Way Jose, and he ended up coming out on the losing end of it all. Kind of sucks, but that's just how things go, you know? Sometimes you can't win them all, and certainly when it comes to the big matches like the titles, you definitely cannot win them all. Jose, though, ready for this contest here tonight. 
so too, I imagine, in the back gearing up for this one right now is Leo Rush. He knows the uh, chance that awaits him here. He knows that he needs to pick up where uh, Matt Riddle was uh, already made his impact earlier in the night with his victory over Tomohiro Ishii. So the big question is, can Leo Rush do that here tonight? He prepares for this one. Crowd on their feet in the Hammerstein as here comes the man of the hour. Heading towards that ring. It's been such a time for Leo Rush, to be fair, since uh, TakeOver Chicago. He got over the man who tried to uh, end his career in Edge. He got vengeance over him. And now Rush can focus instead on... Uh, On, on trying to become the NXT global champion. That could certainly be an interesting one. That would certainly be a um, one hell of a thing to see for Leo Rush if he became the uh, NXT global champion. I certainly uh, would not be opposed to it, I will say that. I think out of, I think out of all the challenges, I mean, I, I like them all, but I think Rush is the one who I maybe most want to win because of his, because uh, of what he's been through to get this far. But we'll see if uh, we'll see if you know that'll happen to take over. He's still got Ishii, Riddle, and the NXT Global Champion himself, Pete Dunne, to overcome in that contest. Colin Abbott tie up now between the two. No way, Jose, the taller of the two, the stronger of the two as well, able to overpower Leo Rush there. You know, I talk about this a lot when it comes to No Way Jose, just because he's uh, known for his his dancing and his uh, fiesta parties. Don't assume that No Way Jose is a pushover. He's a you know, look at him. He's a incredibly tall athlete, and he's. Someone who, when that bell rings, can get very, very serious within that ring. And he, think he can take care of uh, whatever business he needs to. He's a very talented athlete. But Leo Rush, they're able to create the... It'll pretty much get a stalemate against him. And a drop kick will bring No Way Jose off his feet. For all that I just said about No Way Jose, Leo Rush is a very determined young athlete. Still got years of this business ahead of him. So too, of course, does the man who uh, is the number one contender for the NXT Championship, Tyler Bate. Getting a night off after his uh, best of three series with uh, Hiroshi Tanahashi spanning the last three weeks. Oh my goodness, full Nelson slam there by uh, No Way Jose. And here he goes now, perhaps lining something up on Leo Rush. Collision between the two denies that. Gets the kickoff though. Elbow in the face to go with it as well. Leo Rush unable to stop the jabs and the, the elbows of No Way Jose right there, but is able to counter him going down on the arm. Take a look at that, Frank. Take a look, uh, take a look at that now from no, uh, from Leo Rush able to hit that Harakarana. Going up to the top rope early here. What's he going to look for? Leg drop on Jose. End of the cover, hooking the big leg of No Way Jose. Will this end it? It will get a two count though. Certainly something for uh, Leo Rush to take on board. Counter there from No Way Jose, however. Counter back from Leo Rush. Getting competitive now, these two are. Another DDT, maybe. Oh, nicely done there. Left up a little to get that DDT down on him. Caught him with that uppercut, but it certainly didn't seem to phase him. Oh, Inzaguri head scissors. Something along those lines there from uh, Leo Rush. Oh, went for a corkscrew kick. Able to counter it there was no way Jose. Able to counter back is Leo Rush. Great stuff here from both men in this one. Hammerlock Lariat will bring him down. And no way Jose could be in trouble again. Leo Rush going to bring himself up to that top rope once more. And he calls... No way, Jose to his feet. Harakarana into the cover. He goes now. Will this finish off? No way, Jose. It will not. Kick out there at Okana 1 from Jose. But he may not be hanging in there much longer. Leo Rush has him in. Pedigree from Rush. Drills him into the mat. And Leo Rush now. Going to go up to the top rope here. Could be looking for that frog splash. The move that he calls the final hour from Leo Rush. And the man of the hour could be on his way to another win. And he gets it over No Way Jose. Leo Rush, your winner, in a much more quicker and maybe more emphatic fashion than Matt Riddle pulled off earlier in the evening.
Leo Rush just wanted to get business out of its way and get on the way to Brooklyn. And after the match, Jose up to his feet and shaking the hand of Leo Rush there. The camaraderie and respect there between former challenger and current certainly shining through as Leo Rush prepares for his matchup and NXT TakeOver. Is he the favorite? Is Riddle the favorite? Is Ishii the favorite? Or is somehow the NXT Global Champion, Pete Gunn the favorite? Is there even a favorite in this one? We'll find out at TakeOver in that, what is probably gonna be a, out, a hysteric Fatal 4 match that will be, of course, live streamed on August 18th. Nevertheless, there is your winner in this one, Leo Rush. We are preparing for our main event. We are very close to it. However, I've been told there is one last thing heading up before it, and we are going to be hearing from the Velveteen Dream ahead of uh, whatever, really. Ahead of the main event, rather. That's what I was looking for. Velveteen Dream perhaps looking to get something, uh, perhaps getting to look some, uh, looking to get some words in. Following his victory over Dean Ambrose last week, we will find out in just a moment. But one thing is for certain, it's time to hear from the Velveteen Dream. And here he is, not caring about what the Hammerstein Boru thinks about him. Velveteen Dream only thinks about himself. And thinks very highly of himself in that matter as well. Let's not, uh, let's not think anything different. Velveteen Dream, what does he have here to say ahead of the main event, ahead of whatever else Velveteen Dream has to say? I mean, there's no title opportunity for Dream on its way. That much is for certain. The title matches have now been confirmed for NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. So I wonder what Dream is talking about. Ah, he's going to get right into bragging about his victory. Velveteen Dream stating that Dean Ambrose was just another person who thought that they could overcome the Dream, who thought that they were something different. Dean Ambrose was just another person who realized what the Velveteen Dream is truly made of. And in Dean Ambrose's case, his Dream is over. Well, what is next for the Velveteen Dream? Well, he believes he should have a title shot. He believes it should be on NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. He believes it's a shame that he's not on that event. Velveteen Dream is one of the best talents here. He is a superman in his own right, and he deserves that opportunity. Oh, hello. Well, I guess if you say the word superman, there's one person who may think differently to that. Cesaro, of all people, making his way out here. And the Velveteen Dream himself. Looking quite surprised by this one, as I think a lot of the Hammerstein Ballroom crowd are. But Cesaro is heading towards the ring right now. And he's going to go face to face with the Velveteen Dream here. What for? Well, we're about to, we're about to find out, I guess. This is quite interesting, to say the least. Nice scowl there from Cesaro before talking to Velveteen Dream and saying uh, what I just said. There is only one Superman around here on NXT, and that is Cesaro. You want to talk about title opportunities? Your mouth can run it can run as far as you want, but the actions that you do within the ring show that you aren't ready for a title shot. Zara just trying to shut him down a little bit there. And Velveteen Dream just responding, Who are you? What are you doing in Velveteen Dream's ring? This is his time, not yours. He would do himself a favor if he just got out the ring, left the Velveteen Dream alone, and didn't fall into the same fate as so many others have. And Cesaro almost laughs that one off. As if to say, Velveteen Dream, you know who I am. And if you think Cesaro is going to back down from a challenge, you have completely and utterly another thing coming your way. Cesaro doesn't back down from anyone. Certainly not someone way in over their head and someone who needs a lesson learned. Cockiness of Velveteen Dream shining through again as if to say, oh, I'm petrified. Velveteen Dream sarcastically remarking to Cesaro there. He doesn't have time for people who can't get the job done in title matches of their own. Velveteen Dream knows if he was in that situation to take over, he would have beaten Corrin. Cesaro didn't. And now Cesaro saying to Velveteen Dream, you want to prove that to be the case? You think you're better than Cesaro? You think you're better? Than, a, than a, a whole list of the people on NXT. You want something a takeover? You want to be a takeover? Then let's do it. Cesaro ain't wasting any time. He challenges Velveteen Dream to a match at NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. And the Velveteen Dream is more than happy to accept. He says that Cesaro just made 
The mistake that so many others have. They think they can beat the dream. He hasn't lost since he got here to NXT. What makes Cesaro think that TakeOver Brooklyn will be any different? And Cesaro with the microphone in hand is going to shut Velveteen Dream down before he can say anything else. You are the one who has made a mistake. You're the one who's in way over your head. You're the one who's picked a fight with a Swiss Superman. And a TakeOver Brooklyn. Cesaro will take that ugly look of Velveteen Dream, reshape it, resize it, and bring him back down to earth. Cesaro is ending the dream. Dream will be over at TakeOver Brooklyn. Cesaro and Dream at Brooklyn. Oh, yes. Well, that is one announcement in itself that is pretty damn huge. Dream Cesaro for TakeOver. If you ask me, that is the NXT TakeOver Brooklyn card stacked and finalized. What a matchup we could be in for there between those two, but what a match this guy is in for in the main event of the evening that of August 18th to TakeOver Brooklyn. Corin will defend his NXT Championship against Tyler Bate in what should be an absolutely outstanding contest, no doubt about it. Corin will head into Brooklyn roughly seven, no, sorry, nine months as NXT champion, eclipsing that of Kazuchika Okada, the longest reigning NXT champion in this universe. He heads into that date ready to break the record, ready to get himself on his way to one year as NXT champion. Corin's been unstoppable since his arrival to NXT a year and a half ago or thereabouts. No one has gone in his way and a takeover Brooklyn, he'll look to do the same to make sure that Tyler Bate won't get in his way. Bate's not here tonight, as I said, he has a rest week following his best of three series over uh, himself and Tanahashi. But Corin is here tonight for this match against Shelton Benjamin. It is one huge opportunity for the gold standard to be gifted. Can he make the most of it though, is the question. We're underway and Corin immediately coming out of the gates there. Spinning kick, oh good God, this is not what you want to be seeing this early on. There are the strikes from the NXT champion. And immediately, it seems if Corrin's going in to the, uh, I don't really want to, to the underhanded tactics that he is, uh, that he can be known for. Coming out with the hard strikes early on. Shelton Benjamin sent into the turnbuckle there. And the knee in the back, the followers, the follows up after it. The NXT champion, ruthless in his assault on Shelton Benjamin as he is known to be on so many opponents in the past. Moves out of the way there to Shelton Benjamin, but he can't even get in a swing there. Corwin able to stop him, rounding him down there in the uh, strikes keep on coming in. Corwin up on the second rope now. This could be dangerous to Shelton Benjamin unless he can find his way out of it. Oh my God, what a knee in the face. Just corked him there. Nice counter. Up and over the top rope goes Corrin. Can Shelton Benjamin get something big going here? Yes, he can. What a belly to belly that one was. And now here he goes, unloading with some strikes of his own. Spinning kick in the gut, countered there by Corrin. Oh, good God, what does he have in store? Yuranagi slam into the mat. The NXT champion fired up here tonight. He is honing in on that back of Shelton Benjamin. Which is tearing it up. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my God, already. Double underhook brain bust out of Benjamin. Oh, good God. I wasn't expecting that this early in the matchup, but it certainly has struck Cor Corin now. Oh, back suplex, backbreaker there. And it keeps on going here. He has him up now. Deadlift, gut wrench, power bomb from the NXT champion. There's only one bit of business left to do, and that's to end this matchup. Tyler Bate, I hope you are watching close because this could very well be your fate at TakeOver Brooklyn. Clock strikes 12. This one is over. Shelton Benjamin had a hell of an opportunity in front of him. Corin didn't even want to give him a chance in this one. Shut him down, brutalized him. One, two, and three. Corin wins in a lopsided main event. And that is what it means when you are the NXT champion. That is what it means when you are Corin. You are ruthless. You are hateful. You do not bow to anyone.
And you do everything to send a message, just as he's doing here. The match is over, but that ain't going to stop Corin stomping away on Shelton Benjamin now, over and over again. This one is long gone. Corin's your winner, but he ain't finished, not even after the attack. Corin now wants a microphone in his hand. And now with the microphone in hand, here goes the NXT champion. And he sends his stern threat towards the challenger, Tyler Bate scoffing off whatever that match was and giving Bate the idea. His hope is as slim as that match was. There is no chance for Tyler Bate to take over Brooklyn. Corin laughs off the threat of Tyler Bate. He will pummel him into the mat and he will end him at Brooklyn. TikTok, TikTok, always watching, always listening. Corin wants to end this at Brooklyn. He wants to embarrass Tyler Bate in his own eyes. He bats off the threat of Tyler Bate while Corin He's a bit blind in that ideology, because Tyler Bate, no doubt about it, could give Corin the match of his life.